I have always had a fascination for rusted objects, especially the connective qualities of barbed wire. Boundaries, Balance, and Confinement, Navigating the Limits of Nature and Society is the title of my current collection of sculptures and assemblages. Almost everyone I know has had some kind of personal experience or intense emotional reaction with barbed wire. <laughs> the piece you're about to see the pieces you're about to see have been inspired by how society and nature are influenced by this material. I, I discovered the endless narrative, a new voice, if you will, that I've tapped into and continue to explore. This sculpture is made by the first piece of barbed wire that was given to me from a friend for inspiration. It's called Nature Over Nurture. It's made with rock and a baby hornet's nest. I mean, you can figure out the whole, you know, nature over nurture thing. Um, go cut yourself a switch is, you know, some of you may know this expression. It's a very intense um, symbol. Um, this work symbolizes in our society, it's okay to whip or switch our children, partners, pets, and in the past, slaves, and people are still whipping slaves. Um, even some of our current football heroes are up for charges in doing so. This piece is made from fencing, woven willow branches, gold spray, painted barbed wire. This is the lessons that you won't forget, honoring the lessons I will never forget after being switched as a child. Currently, this piece is um, sitting at the um, front door of the Vermont Supreme Court, and it's called, I have a show there right now. And it's called uh, Good Luck, Honey, Once You Get in the Cage, There's No Getting Out. <laughs> no matter what season, mud season, summer, fall, winter, barbed wire is camouflaged by the environment it lives in. And, and these pieces all are assemblages with, with real dirt and snow-covered um, images and spray paint. So there's a concept of nature and urban environment. These three pieces illustrated, illustrate how symbols of spirituality can preempt personal understanding of one's own soul. Represented here is the trilogy, Third Eye Blind, Love Thyself, and Blessed. No matter what happens to our environment, a bird will always find a place to nest. And there's a goose egg in the center of this piece. I must say this process has been a technical challenge for me and probably one of the most um, profound experiences I've had. This is the last flight. My goal in designing this piece was to create an an illusion of movement, a captured innocence, a lightness, and an interplay of shadows from these beautiful flying objects. And all the antennae are sewn into the piece. This is But Why. It's dedicated for those who have been victims of childhood sexual abuse. It's in homage to a close family member. Most of the objects in this assemblage were, um, are from the 60s and 70s, depicting the time of occurrence. This is progression. So many people have asked me, where did you get all the barbed wire from? And my response is, I, I actually put a post on front porch form that read, artist seeking barbed wire. <laughs> and my first res response back was, you've got to be kidding me. And then two weeks later, I have an endless supply of it. Um, this is a kinetic piece called Objects in My Rearview Mirror. And it was inspired by a car accident I had when a rock was thrown through my window. Um, and this spring, when we were hanging it, the piece at the Vermont Supreme Court, it was like we all stood back and looked at it, and it just fell and broke into a thousand pieces. So I'm glad that I have a photograph of it. Uh, this is called the plank, intensity of sameness. 350 pieces of barbed wire on found board with white paint. 
Um, this piece took 23 minutes to conceptualize and over a month to make. There's a lot of cutting and drilling here. Inspired by the events, uh, current events happening in Ferguson, um, this piece, black and white, implies an urban landscape that comes to an abrupt dead end. I wish this was a little more detailed, sorry. Five wishes made from maple branches, wishbones, wire, and white acrylic painted on the tips of all of the branches. For me, this represents points of life, light, and growth. All of my branches, branch pieces have this element in it, emphasized. This piece is a view from the bottom of a well looking up. Originally, when I made this, I was going uh, to keep the white space um, just blank, um, but decided that I had to have a fringe of nature around the edges. It's so important to have hope. A visit to the hen house. This past summer, I dismantled two kosher king roosters and for their feathers to, to make this piece, as well as others, by weaving together the rooster feathers, I was able to reconstruct feather profiles and display them. I've never liked roosters or what they've symbolized, <laughs> or as, as well as the relationships with hens. Um, this is muscle memory. Uh, I wish this had a little bit more detail to it. Um, it's similar to, um, similar to a muscle response that that never forgets. The, inten the internal wood of this piece has a strong female narrative and it's made from maple logs and, cha and chainsaw in black and white. Um, so if you would like to experience more of this work, my show is up at, I have an exhibit up at the Supreme Court. It's up till the end of the month. As an artist, my goal is to make art that provokes thought, social, social change, reflection, insightfulness. Thank you.